Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is LaTanya. I am a middle school teacher in Southern California and in 2020, I decided to go on this low spin journey to reduce the amount of money that I was spending frivolously, number one, and number two, to reduce the amount of money I was spending frivolously to increase the amount of money I have to accomplish some of my larger financial goals, which are paying off credit card debt, building my savings, and then ultimately someday paying off my student loan debt. So this video is my check-in for the month of February, and in these videos, this is only my second one, but the purpose of these videos is for me to really kind of share um, how I felt, what progress I was making, if any, what weaknesses do I have, what areas do I need to improve upon as I go throughout this journey. So if you are new here, that's what this video is about if this is the first video of mine that you've seen in this kind of line of content make sure you check out the low spend um, video that I uploaded I think New Year's Day and then my uh, month in review for January before you continue to watch this one so you can follow the whole journey along the way with that being said let's get started so a lot of you said that you liked the format of the last video where I just kind of talked about how I was feeling like week to week and any clips that I had that I felt were relevant to what I'm saying in the sit down portion of the video, I just kind of interspersed them throughout so that it wasn't just me sitting down and talking. So I'm going to stick to that same format. Again, I feel like I've mentioned this in the previous video. If there is a glare on my glasses, I apologize for it. There is literally no direction in which I can turn where there is no glare and I have to have my glasses so that I can properly see. So please excuse it if it's bothering you. I wish I could change it, but I can't. So let's start off with reviewing the month of February, February with just the very first week, which was the week of February 3rd. And what I normally do and what I have been doing is throughout the month, I just have this Google Doc on my phone and I just kind of jot down thoughts like how am I feeling what was happening this week to kind of help me with this video so that is always why I'm always holding my phone and referring to it because this is where my notes are so the week of February 3rd um, I uploaded the January video and when I upload videos and get comments I try really hard to make sure I respond to every single comment and I was just so surprised with that video how many people um, took issue with me having Blue Apron as a meal service Hello everybody, it is Monday, February the 3rd, yeah, February the 3rd. I am in my home office and I am getting ready to pay my bills for the month. So I am a teacher, as you may well know at this point, and where I'm at, we get paid once a month on the first of the month, and so I pay all of my bills in pretty much one fatal swoop with the exception of a couple of bills that come out at the end of the month on auto pay um in regards to auto pay i i avoid it just because sometimes in my historical or my financial past i've needed um the ability to like change a due date or manipulate a due date and when you have auto pay that's just hard to do i don't really do it often anymore but that that has been something i've had to do in the past when I was younger and my income was lower and so I just always like knowing that if I need to um, I can kind of make some changes and so I avoid auto pay which some of you I'm sure will disagree with but it works for me but I pay all my bills all at once after I get paid and um, so I'm getting ready to do that now this month should be interesting in terms of my budget because I should be bringing in a little bit more money with some um, some companies i'm working with and i should get a little bit of extra income from youtube i didn't get paid last month because i didn't hit the threshold you have to hit you have to earn at least a hundred dollars in ad revenue for them to send you a check and i didn't so that carries over to the next month and i i know that i'll get past a hundred dollars this month so i'll have that but at the same time i also need to account for the fact that i need to um pay to have my taxes filed. So I just do my taxes through TurboTax and I think it costs $80 to file both state and federal taxes all together. Um, but I also got my reimbursement check, check from AAA. And with the AAA check, 
I think I'm just going to, I'm not sure where I want to put that just yet because it's not really extra income. It's just like replenishment of income that I had to spend. So right now I think I'm going to put it in my checking account, but we shall see. So in case you're curious to see the environment that I have the fun paying my bills in, this is my home office. There's Riley. Riley is technically my mom's dog, but he's staying with me. There's my little brat of a dog, Genesis, who is a handful. There she is. There's her bed. And then just, just the office. This is where the magic happens financially and as a teacher. And that's just a stack of books that I need to deal with. So I need to get cracking on getting these bills paid because after this I need to go cook my Blue Apron meal. And I would just like to say in regards to Blue Apron, I feel like a couple of comments I got on the video that went up over the weekend, like my month in review, I think some people maybe don't fully understand what Blue Apron is because they th they view it as a luxury. And if you don't know about Blue Apron, it's not a luxury. It's just a service that gives you some recipes to choose from. Um, they ship you all the necessary ingredients that you need to cook it, but you are still cooking it. So it would be no different than if I had ordered my groceries online to like Ralph's or Stater Brothers and had someone deliver the groceries to me. And it is not more expensive for me. It's actually less expensive. Like I said in my video, I pay $60 a week. That is three meals for two people, which means I'm paying essentially $10 a meal and I'm not buying any extra extra ingredients so when I was just finding recipes on my own I would always have to buy some ingredients that I only needed a small amount of and then so much of it was going to waste so just 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 so that you guys know like Blue Apron really it's not a luxury I'm not like living the high life because I'm getting Blue Apron shipments so I need to cook a meal after this and then I have some other things I need to take care of like putting my budget on every dollar and just filling in my little planner that I've been using for my finances. And um, that's probably gonna be the focus of my evening. No teaching stuff really, just financial stuff. So let's get started. Excuse me, my dog is misbehaving. Genesis, no. She's eating out of Riley's bowl and not her bowl. Um, so anyway, a lot of people, not a lot, let me not, over dramatize several people I guess more people than what I would have thought um, seem to take issue with the fact that I do pay for blue apron shipment so that first week of February I felt like I had to defend my choice I choose my choice and I had to defend my choice as to why I have had blue apron for the past three to four years and will probably continue to have it so I made sure to kind of share with you guys what a blue apron shipment looks like what it involves because I wonder if some of the people that um, took issue with me having Blue Apron, didn't really understand what it was. So Blue Apron is not someone delivering already cooked meals to me. Blue Apron is a service where they're delivering the ingredients, supplies, and materials that I need to make three meals that feed two people. And since I live on my own, one meal feeds me for two days. So that's Blue Apron. And then one of the other comments that came up more than once, um, people were surprised that I choose to continue my uh, membership with Orange Theory Fitness, which is like a gem for lack of better term, but not quite a gem. It's kind of like a CrossFit, but not a CrossFit, where you essentially um, book a class um, you can book them almost every hour on the hour. Um, you have a trainer that's kind of leading you through the three rotations. There's always a treadmill block, a rowing block, and a weight room block. Um, the classes are about an hour long, and there's different packages. You can buy eight sessions a month, um, which is one cost. And then there's one, I, I can't remember all the three levels, but there's some where you can buy a certain number of sessions a month. And then there is a um, option where you can pay to have unlimited classes a month. And that is what I do. So that was another area where people were kind of questioning my choice because that's money I could be saving, which is true, but it's money that I feel like is worth me spending because to me it is an investment in my health. And that is something that I w am willing to budget for. And that is something that I will continue to budget for. Same with the Blue Apron. That is for me to eat dinner. It is for my health. Um, it does help me to provide healthy meals for myself. Um, so I'm going to keep doing that as well as Orange Theory. Is Orange Theory um, expensive for an unlimited membership? Probably for most it is expensive. I think I pay about, 
I think I pay $169 a month. Um, and I'm good with paying that. I do have a membership to 24 Hour Fitness that costs me, I think, $2 a month because I've had it for so long. Um, and what I like about Orange Theory and the reason why I keep it is because I do get a very intense workout. I know that I can schedule it around my uh, schedule. I get to do it with my friends. It keeps me motivated. And I know that I'm doing more through Orange Theory than what I was doing for myself as an individual because I'm having someone kind of coach me through it. And then the other question, or the other thing people really, again, not really. The other issue that people questioned or commented on is me having a housekeeper. I do have a housekeeper. I pay her every other week. I pay her $65 every other week and she, she along with someone else, cleans my entire house. Is that $65 a month I could save? It is, but I am a person that likes to live in a clean environment and um, I've, cleaned my own place before when I had an apartment. And for me, the way that I work in terms of teaching, it just drained me because I was teaching Monday through Friday, then I was spending my whole day Saturday cleaning, then Sunday was coming, I was getting groceries and getting prepped for the next week. In the middle of all that, I'm grading and lesson planning, and I never really felt like I had a moment to just kind of take a break. So that is, an, that is the reason that I keep the housekeeper is that the house needs to be cleaned. Um, I, it's just me, I don't have anyone to share the chores with and so that is why I choose to spend $65 every two weeks on a housekeeper. There are times where I will skip the housekeeper if I feel like the house is relatively clean and I don't need it or if I need to cut cost somewhere, that is usually one of the first things that I will play around with. So that was what was going on that very first week in terms of just my like my reaction to my first upload of like my reflection of how this journey is going for me. It was just kind of surprising and eye-opening as to what people's perceptions were. Um, but aside from that, that week I really did feel, I put, I felt disheveled this week. Um, my lunches, I had no lunches for the week. I'm not really sure what was going on. Checking the mail daily was kind of not happening the way it needed to be and I was late with getting my budget for the month of February established. I think I was a week into February almost before I actually sat down and made the budget on the Every Dollar app and it was a high spend week. I ended up spending more money than what I would have liked to that week and I don't remember exactly how much I spent that week but I do know it's in my Insta stories and the highlights because I do upload those um, what I spent in a week kind of recaps every Friday through Insta story but it, it just wasn't it wasn't good um, and even though all that was happening I still had a little bit of optim optimism because I knew that the week was off my budget wasn't established when I wanted it to I had spent more money than what I would really like to spend in a week but I was optimistic because I knew I had some income coming in in the weeks to come um, I had some work that I had done for or with the company a collaboration that I did that was going to bring in a little extra money I knew I was going to be filing my taxes soon so that would give me some relief and I had um, made arrangements to collaborate with another company that was going, going to bring in an additional income as well so I was still feeling optimistic and I got my emergency fund re-established and started it off with a hundred dollars so that was my very first week of February um, I paid some bills I got that all situated and so while it was a rough start I ended that week going into the next week feeling like okay we can do this we got it then the week of February 10th came um, my optimism continued I was able to add another $148 into my emergency fund um, and I don't remember where that money came from I think that was some I think that was extra income from like the money that I make from YouTube videos and um, some of the purchases that I are not purchases but some of the sales that I made on teachers pay teachers just every little bit of money that was extra that I was getting I did put in my emergency fund so that amounted to $148 going into the emergency fund that month um, I was paid my stipend for contract negotiations so with my district I do act as a union site rep for my school site but when we do contract negotiations where you're negotiating the teaching contract for the entire teaching force of the district, we do get paid a stipend for that because it takes us out of the classroom quite a bit and there's a lot of work that goes into preparing for negotiations and then actually going through negotiations. And to compensate you for all that time, they do give you a stipend. So that put a little extra money into my checking account. And if you remember in January, I had some anxiety because the, the cushion that I had in my checking account was very minimal 
um, and that was giving me anxiety because the feeling of if something goes wrong, I don't really have a lot to fall back on after my bills are paid and all of that. So I did get my stipend and that was great because it did alleviate some of that stress that I was feeling in January. Um, I created a little bit more breathing room for myself is what I wrote down. I got my taxes filed or I started the process of filing my taxes. I couldn't completely file them that week because since I do make extra income from things like YouTube and collaborating with other companies, I had multiple 1099s that I had to put in. And I think because I had to do that, there were some additional review step that TurboTax felt needed to take place. So I got the process started, got everything as far as I could get it, and had to wait for TurboTax to kind of do what they needed to do. Um, and the decisions that I made with that is I filed my taxes and I decided that I was going to take my refund and I was going to split it down the middle. So half of my refund I was just going to put into my checking account so that I can continue to build that little cushion that I need to kind of give me peace of mind and make sure I get through every month without like barely scraping by. And then the other half would be devoted to funding my emergency fund and starting to work on paying off my very first credit card, which is the one that has the lowest balance. So that's that was the decision that I made with filing my taxes. Valentine's Day came and in my uh, low spin, I do have a rule that says I can buy something for myself as long as it's a special occasion like my birthday or a holiday or a Valentine's Day. And while Valentine's Day is not special for me because I have a Valentine or anything, it is special for me because I try and treat myself extra special on that day because it's all about self-love just as much as it just as much as it is about, you know, being in a relationship. So Valentine's Day came and two of my rules came into play. So rule number one for me basically says I can't buy any new clothing um, unless it's a special occasion, birthday, holiday, things like that because buying clothes is kind of like my weakness. I like clothes, I like buying clothes. So what I was planning to do for Valentine's Day is I was going to buy another pair of Rothy's which are um, a brand of flats that are very comfortable, very teacher friendly. They have them in all different colors and patterns. So I was going to buy a pair of leopard printed Rothy's for Valentine's Day. And Valentine's Day came and I feel like this is progress I just didn't want to part with the money to do that. So a pair of Rothy's I think cost like 120, 150, somewhere around there. And when Valentine's came, I just didn't want to part with that money because I was like, I'm just now getting to a place where I'm adding a little extra cushion into my checking account and I didn't want to let that money go. So I didn't buy Rothy's, which I was very proud of because old Latanya would have been like, I'm buying these Rothy's no matter how I have to do it, I'm going to make it happen. But what I did do involves rule number four, which states that I can't buy anything like personal care needs unless I'm replenishing it. And so I went to Bath and Body Works and I bought some aromatherapy products because they had them on sale. Um, I love their aromatherapy products for days that I'm stressed or on the weekends I like to use them when I shower and go straight to bed because it just gives me comfort. And so I bought that really at first to replenish the items that I had read out of but then as I was buying it I said this can just be my Valentine's Day treat so I did that which was progress for Latanya I saved myself some money didn't buy clothes and just really talked myself through do you really want to spend the money on those shoes right now and the answer was no um, and then the week of February 17th came and I really struggled this week my note says I just had an itch to buy clothing hello everyone it is Wednesday February 19th at about 5.15 um, p.m. obviously. I just got home from work, just checked the mail, and I thought this would be a good time to pick up the camera just to kind of give you a little update about how I'm feeling at this point in my whole low spin situation since a lot of you guys kind of like these little bits of clips interspersed with the, uh, with the not the spit downs, the sit downs. Um, so I picked up the camera at A because that is one area that I'm still struggling with and it doesn't have anything to do with spending but it's one of the rules that I had. Um, that Shinnis is sneezing in the background is I have not been the best at checking my mail every single day. Sometimes I haven't checked my mail on a particular day because of the weather. I was born and raised in Southern California and if the wind is blowing or there's sprinkles coming out of the sky, I just feel like it's just too 
too traumatic for me to go out and get the mail in that kind of weather element. So that's some of it, but really um, when it gets windy here, it's super windy and it gets really cold sometimes. And then sometimes I'm just lazy. If I were to be honest, I'm just too lazy to walk across the street to the mailbox to get the mail by the time I get home from work. So that is something that I know I need to work on. The other reason is because this came in the mail and don't get nervous. This is a purchase from Nordstrom, but it's just makeup. So I order my makeup through Nordstrom because I have a Nordstrom debit card so I get points for all my purchases. Um, the majority of my like main makeup items like foundation, powder, um, eyebrow products that all comes from MAC which is sold at Nordstrom. So I always buy it through them to get the points. I'm not charging it again it's a debit card. But when I ordered this when I placed this order on Monday I don't know like I was having a day where I just desperately wanted to buy not just something, I just wanted to buy some clothes. Like I just felt the urge to get some new clothes. Not even gonna say that I felt like I needed them because I know that I don't need them and I'll show you my closet in a second just to kind of show you guys that I know that I don't need them. I just like them, I just want them. I just enjoy clothes and different outfits and things like that. And I came super close, you guys. Like I came super, super close to buying um, a clothing item. Um, because I ordered this and then I went on Ann Taylor Loft's um, website because a lot of the clothes that I get from work come from Ann Taylor Loft and they always have sales and sure enough they were having a sale. So then I was like well maybe if I just shop and put things in my cart that'll get rid of that feeling I have of purchasing something because it'll be like I purchased it but I didn't and that worked for the site. Like plus I didn't really see anything in there that I wanted. And then for some reason Sorry, I just mowed on over to the DSW website, which is a shoe company for the most part, because I really do, and I have been looking for a certain kind of black booty for a while, and I happened to see some that were very similar to what I've been looking for, and a pair that I've seen someone else wear, and when she wore them, I thought, those are really cute with those pants, I need something like that. And they were having a sale on booties, and I had a $20 like gift certificate or credit I could use because I'm a member of the rewards program and I came so close and I felt the old Latanya rising up that says well you have to get it because it's on sale and you have um, the $20 credit and I came very very close I was like I'm just gonna do it because they have my size and the the stars are aligned and I'm supposed to get this but I'm very proud to say I had to take a moment like my rules said and ask myself why am i really doing this number one i asked myself do i really need them right now the answer to that was no then i also asked myself do you really need these ones in particular and the answer to that was no because these were suede boots and i don't want suede booties i just want like faux leather booties and then i said is it your birthday is it a Valentine's Day? Is it a special occasion? Because that is when you said you could buy things. And I said the answer to that is no. And then I just realized I refuse to fail at this two months into the situation. So I didn't make the purchase. And I feel very proud of myself for doing that. So I wanted to check in there so that you guys know I have had moments where I'm like, I just want something. And so that you can see, what I had to tell myself is, I really don't need any more clothes. So this is my closet. This is the vast majority of my clothes here and shoes. Um, so I have plenty of things to wear. I'm pretty good about mixing and matching clothing items. I have another closet that just has sweaters in it and things like that. But yeah, I don't, I don't need any new clothes. I just want new clothes. I just like new clothes. Um, so I had to remind myself of that. So what I'm getting ready to do right now, in case you're interested, I'm in my closet also because I'm getting my outfit pulled out for tomorrow. Um, I do pull my clothes out the day before in case you're interested. Tomorrow's outfit's going to be easy because I'm supposed to wear a t-shirt, like a school related t-shirt because I teach leadership at my school and we're having like a leadership development day with our students so we need to wear a leadership shirt and jeans so i just need to find the shirt iron it if necessary and figure out what jeans i'm going to wear with that so that's how i'm feeling today on uh wednesday february 20th um so yeah that's it so once again latanya did really well she did not buy the booties. She resisted the urge. She said no. I felt very 
proud of myself. I do feel like virtually shopping on the Ann Taylor Loft website and putting things in the cart did kind of satisfy that urge that I had. So if you are like me and you want to buy some clothes and you know that you shouldn't try that, that did help me. So that brings us to this week, the week of February 24th. And this week I have been feeling very proud of my progress and even more optimistic than what I was feeling at the beginning of the month. So like I just mentioned, I have since gotten my tax refund and thanks to that, I was able to fully fund my emergency fund. So that's back to where it needs to be. And then I was able to take the extra money that I have for my tax refund and I paid down my lowest credit card. And between my tax refund and the other money that I had paid earlier in the month, I was able to pay a total of $790 on my lowest credit card, which makes a significant dent because that credit card doesn't really have a very high balance. So I, I feel like I am definitely on the road to being better and really being focused about just meticulously and very strategically getting things paid off. So yeah, I'm ending February on a high note, feeling very optimistic, looking forward to continuing to make more progress. Um, as far as my wins for the month, because I like to think of, okay, in general, what would you say the wins were? I would say getting my taxes filed and my refund um, taken care of for this month was a win because like I said, thanks to that, I was able to just make some progress in some of the areas I've been working on in terms of my um, emergency fund and paying down a credit card. My emergency fund is fully funded and I believe that that is step one of Dave Ramsey's plan, even though I'm not meticulously following that plan. Um, as far as losses or things that I could um, do better with and things I'm struggling with, I'm still struggling with checking the mail on a daily basis. I haven't even checked the mail today. I am still struggling with like really getting my budget fine-tuned because every month that I've used every dollar so far, which has just been these two months, I am over budget in multiple categories, so I need to be better about having a more realistic budget so that I'm not going over budget. I've also had to make multiple trips to Target, which is my grocery store a couple times, because even though I'm going there with the list, there's always like one or two things that I'm forgetting. Um, Checking every dollar every day and adding my transactions on a daily basis hasn't really been happening. And so I just like that. I'm not surprised by those things because those have always been things that have been hard for me. Like just going on and finding the time and putting schoolwork down so that I can find the time to go on, add my transactions to every dollar. Um, that's just something that I have to make time for. But by the same token, I don't have a ton of transactions happening every day. I can go two, three days sometimes without spending anything, but I just wanna be better at having the habit of just as habitual as it is for me to come home, pull out my outfit for the next day, pack a lunch, it needs to be pull out my outfit, pack a lunch, do what I need to do with every dollar, check the mail. Like those two things need to be more like habitual for me. But overall, I, I'm just feeling good. I'm glad that this is something that I've started. I definitely think it has made me kind of hone in on what I do and some areas that I need to be better with with my finances. I do feel like having these goals and having this accountability piece with you guys helps and um, I think once I got my emergency fund funded and once I was able to pay some more on my credit cards than just the minimum payment, especially with that, the lowest one that I'm working on right now, that's what's keeping me motivated to keep, you know, trying to find ways to bring in extra income and making sure as soon as that extra income comes in that I'm applying it to whatever goal I'm working on financially at that time. So like when my tax refund came, I had to quickly move that money to where it was supposed to go because the longer I let it sit there, the more susceptible it is to me just spending it on things. Um, so that is the month of February. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying seeing my progress, give it a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, that's it. I will be seeing you guys in about a month where I rehash what happened to me in the month of March. And I'm hoping and I'm optimistic that I just have more progress to share with you. And in between now and then, I'm gonna really work on checking my mail every day, really be better about going on every dollar every day. Um, and we'll see what happens from there. So that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're looking for other videos that fall in line with this, check out the low spin video that I uploaded in January. My month
month in review um, for the month of January. And make sure if you're not already doing it, follow me on Instagram if you wanna kinda catch me and see how much I'm spending on a weekly basis. I upload those every Friday through my Insta story. So that's it, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next month. Bye guys.